You know, you need these times when you practice uh, being online. You practice being in the camera. It's a beautiful day. July 18th. Unbelievable. That is July 18th. Yeah, the sun is bright. So that's being a little shadow. July, July 18th? Wait a minute. Yeah, July 18th, 2017. Yesterday was 7 17 17. Did you write it down? I wrote it down. But it's good to be on camera. You know, I was just laughing with my brother last month about this time. <laughs> Showing him how when I get on camera, I say, Welcome to the Facebook TV show. Like, no matter how much hell is going on and how much how I'm distraught or irritated or going through stuff, I still come on and I go, Hi. You know, because I feel like I have to be positive. I mean, do you all really want a sad commentary on life? No. But life is not always wonderful and fabulous for me, of course. But for the most part, it's been great lately, and especially today. Today is a day of me, and I know my makeup's not done, don't have my stuff together, don't have all my jewelry on, my hair's a mess. I get it. But, you know, today's a day, and July has been this way for me, a month of rest. A month of rest. And the father really, really wants me to rest. He's brought it to me in so many ways. He's spoken to me about it um, directly to my spirit. Now he's had prophets on YouTube saying it and having me think, she has something to say to you, listen to her. So I'll listen and lo and behold, she's saying what God is saying. But especially this month, it was sort of like this month it all came from all different directions and it was really holding into, you've got to rest. You've got to really rest. And not just rest, rest for the Lord means really, really, um, Get off things you do that might get you riled up, like a lot of television news. Um, calm yourself down from other things that just get you riled up. I mean, you find along the way, if, you don't, if you're not sure, if you don't know, you can ask the Father, he'll tell you what things are getting you too riled up. And to also eat well, which is another form of God saying, rest. Really eat well. And by eat well, often I find the Father is saying, I'm going to show you some ways in which you're not eating properly. It's not really good for your body. It's not really good for your, you know. And the eating involves eating and moving around and exercising. So I want you to walk. I want you to do exercise. Or And for me, it's walking. And I want you to walk this way, go that way. I want you to walk with this state of mind. It's a lot to it. It's not just rest. Um, so it, it's been rest for me, July. And why not? June was, okay, all that GoFundMe to my brother's wedding, the trip, the Acela, the excitement, and they really got married, and it was really wonderful. It was fabulous. And a victory, you know, out of all the, you know, the we've been through in the wilderness to see someone get their breakthrough and I mean oh, it's so wonderful yep my brother got a wife and uh, a wonderful woman of God on fire for God loving spiritual warfare somebody who does spiritual warfare and loves doing it she loves breaking bondages of Satan and chains coming down from hell she likes it Okay. Sound like somebody you know? <laughs> I love it too. And just, just just freeing people up, freeing people up from bondages and breaking soul ties and generation curses. Yes. So that's my that's my sister in law. <laughs> and uh, so we had a good time. I had a good time there with them and her three fabulous daughters. She did a good job, you know, by herself, raising them by herself. She was a single mom. Uh, a delightful, delightful situation. And now my brother is daddy of the house. Oh. But hey, he's doing a good job. They love him. So yeah, July is now, why wouldn't it be rest month? And the Lord says, that's because something fabulous is going to start happening. 
I mean, more fabulous stuff. And um, you all may see me in a different light, too. Which is fine. I mean, change. And you'll see me change. You'll see things happen. You'll be like, she's not like she was. And some of you won't like it. And some of you will love it. And I'll get new people who say, oh, I like, the, I like this new format. Or I like the way she's presenting herself now. Or like, yeah, I just like what she's teaching. It's different. But the Lord says, yeah, it's going to change. He had told me about that, too. I think it was 2013. I think it was, yeah, three years ago. Uh, two, three, 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 four years ago. Through prophets from Kent. Kent Simpson ministry, if anybody knows that ministry. Yeah, and the Lord used two of them to say to me, you know, changes are going to happen. Um, one of them was just like, it's just going to be so fabulous, you're going to love it. And she sent me the song, I can only, if I could only imagine, and I was like, am I going to die? Is that okay? You know, and I'll go to heaven. But, um, you know, the, the other person said, um, it's just going to be a change, it's going to be a, a switch in the heading of your of what you're teaching and then God sent me on a word study and he led me to heading and heading and how heading relates to um, uh, boating if any of you know about boats yachts and you know having having boats and ships on the ocean uh, on the lakes, there's heading, there's a word there. And just recently, he put into my spirit wheelhouse. Somebody said something about wheelhouse. I'm sure it was Neil, Neil Vermillion. And the Lord said, wheelhouse. And I said, think about that. And I went and looked it up. Again, it's boat. <laughs> Maybe I'm sailing. <laughs> the Lord knows I want to be on a yacht. It's one of the things I haven't done. I'd love to do. And so, he's talking about, um, again, ships. But since I also know this means travel. I know any vehicle means ministry, you know, for me. So if I dream about a car or I see a vision about a boat or a plane, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be that. And I haven't had too many of boats. I mean, so, you know, it's like boats, ships. So I guess it's just saying a different, there's going to be something different in your ministry, even though you feel, I feel as if I, I just started. You know, when it was it was 2010 that I first came on and talked to you guys on YouTube. You know? And I love those people that have been with me from the beginning. Carol, O'Donnell, and uh, Vonda, Claudia. People that were there for me from the beginning before I even came to rest and even came to this situation. So, and I appreciate you guys uh, who encouraged me. And so, I guess he's saying it's going to change some changes in the ministry. Princess Carol Iodurdo Ministries. Yeah. I might think it just started. Already a change, but I'd rather stay in the flow of God when he moves real fast or he, real, he moves real slow. I'd rather stay in the I'd rather stay in the flow of the Holy Spirit. So now it's just been a rest time. Um, uh, some things are you know going to happen and he's like maybe I've told too many people or I talked about it too much and now I'm like oh I already told them I was going to do this, this friend and that friend, and I'm not doing it. And the Holy Spirit said, yeah, you know, you're the one who opened your mouth and said so. But I was just sharing with the, my friend, the few friends you let me have <laughs> around me. He says, yes, I know. But it's just like Joyce Meyer who made up a, a schedule and she was working hard in her ministry and then she complained to God that I'm just exhausted. And he said, well, you don't want to write your schedule. So the Lord says, you're the one to tell God what you, you're going to do next. Did I say you should tell anyone? You may have to learn how to keep your mouth shut. Because once you open your mouth and you say it, then you feel obligated to fulfill your uh, schedule you've set up to people because you want to be a woman of integrity. And whatever you say, you want to be known as someone who does it. Eh. Sometimes people that do that, they do the thing. I tell them to write a book and they go home immediately and they put it out immediately and it's good and all it's good and all but later they find out you know no one's buying it anymore well I was like it's okay you'll learn just because I say it doesn't mean you're gonna do it like this minute you know so I used to admire people that did that and the Lord said that's nice to admire them sometimes I do want you to do it immediately but sometimes I want you to just stew on it like I say, let it, let it, let it get root. 
You know, sometimes God says, leave that church. And he might not mean right this second, leave that church. Did you see that? The thing went off on me. Let me go put my... It's trying to say after 15 minutes, I spoke for... It's trying to say I spoke for 15 minutes. Well, I've got news for this little kid character right here. Um, I have decided that I'm changing the settings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. um, I have decided that when the Lord says talk and keep talking, just let it flow, I'm not going to worry about time. It's only been 10 minutes or 45 seconds. What's the deal? Anyway, I'm the one that said the thing, but I'm, I'm resetting it. Um, but the Lord says, you're the one that set your schedule. Who told you you had to do it right now? Well, um, you told me to do it. Yeah, but timing and maybe you shouldn't talk about it so much. So maybe that's something for someone out there. But so anyway, he's like, Nick's all right. Uh, uh, uh. You resting. You continue to rest. July's your month and you're going to sit here and you're going to knit all day. <laughs> I got some new stuff. I'm going to do this in, the, in another one. I don't want to do it in this one because I have to move. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. Um, to show you what I'm knitting. And I'll put that under the Joy Design, one of the Joy Design ones. I would like to be a better person at organizing my playlists. I really would. <laughs> I look at people's uh, videos and, sh and, and you know their, their channels, excuse me, look at people's channels on YouTube. And when I love it, I want to go in and find a playlist so I can only get the... And they don't have one. And I'm like, I know. Me too. Or they have a playlist and the video I want is not under there. You know, you've seen it before and then you go back and now you can't find it. But if you go under their playlist, surely it's, it's not. It's like I can't find it. So I'm going to be better. I'm going to try to be better at it. And I have a playlist for Joy Designs. And yeah, I like Joy Designs. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm going to show you how total. Uh, well, you see the pictures of the outfit I made for the wedding. Yeah. Strapless. Dress, elasticized, with a slit up the side. That's it. But with a head tie and the thing over my shoulder, <laughs> one of the ladies dressing my sister-in-law, I guess they had been t seeing me and not wanting to say anything like, that's a very plain looking dress when they're all in beaded chiffon and, you know, fancy. And my fabric was nice, but it was just a strapless elasticized strapless so that it was puffy it wasn't like fitted or anything to me dress but I guess they would think it's the most comfortable thing in the world what she got on but that's what she gonna wear as a maid of honor yes maid of honor I can be a maid <laughs> I'm gonna be new to my new husband whoever he is so that's what I wore and I'll show it to you but then when I put the head tie on I should have taken a picture of myself when I put that head tie on and taken a picture of their faces because one of them was very vocal and you know my sister was quiet like mm, you're showing yourself now because she says oh my goodness the head tie makes all the difference that makes all the difference and then I had my shawl and I had my bouquet and I was like mm, you're showing yourself so before you were like that is a nothing dress she has on well I wasn't supposed to be the maid of honor. I had to step in. It's okay. I didn't have a dress. But God made sure I had a fabulous dress. And when you see the pictures, did you see those pictures? I mean, I match the maid of honor perfectly. She has two maid of honors. So one backed off. So this one, so that dress, I'm thinking the maids of honor probably had similar dresses. So I don't know what the other one was supposed to wear. I was standing in for but this one, the dress, my dress went perfectly. You know, they weren't alike at all. But they were just, they just went together. Color-wise and, and design. Everything was just absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. And then I went, I matched with the head tie and the thing. I matched the guy's pinkish reddish, I don't even know what colors to call that, sort of pinky, pinkish. She said hot pink. I don't want to call 
that hot thing. But it was pinkish uh, thing, which went somehow with my burgundy. Okay, that's what I mean, but it wasn't really a hot pink. It was more like a, a wine. No, I don't even know what kind of pink. Dark pink? It would be a dark pink. But anyway, God worked that out. And so, I'll show you that. I'll show you that on Joy Designs. But, you know, this is just a day. July 18th is just a hot day. This is the day, I guess, Caucasians don't like. Because they're like, it's so hot. You sweat. Drink water, drink water. Drink, drink, drink. I'm like, sitting here, enjoying the breeze. I'm sitting here enjoying the breeze. In a minute, I'm going to close the windows. I know. Only because, you know, the air conditioner's on. But if I had my way, there wouldn't be no air conditioner on. The cats would die of heat. <laughs> because when Carol's away and I turn it off, the, while, while he goes to find the, he, he sprawls on the kitchen floor like, oh, cool, cool, something cool, please, cool. Like he's dying. You know, I don't want that 20 year old cat to die on my watch. So, yeah, it's nice. I'll close it in a minute. Oh my guys, it's great talking to you. I hope you're blessed. I hope you're staying on a faith walk. I hope the GoFundMe helped me get to my brother's wedding was an encouragement to those of you who are waiting for your breakthrough and have followed some of what I've been able to tell you about him. Because I want him to tell his own story, you know? He'll probably say, no, go and tell it. But I'm like, mm, you're going to be on YouTube. You're going to be on television in a while. And I want you to have it, not that it's been told by me. Um, but some of what I've been able to say, you know, you went, you, he went through the wilderness experience and he went through it. But he learned spiritual warfare. He learned humility, I'll tell you that, and compassion. And um, yeah, he learned the supernatural blessings of God, the way to walk with God and really make it through, even though you don't have any money. He learned to walk without money, you know? And it was a short time compared to mine. I'm not mad. It's okay. Uh, yeah, I've been on mine since 2008. He, he was on his for you know, maybe five years. But it brought out him out to, you know, being a missionary in Haiti going there a couple of times, going through a wonderful um, supernatural experiences, um, protection from voodoo priests. That's always exciting. Did you think so? You're not an adventurer. Come on. They're protected by the blood of Christ. But anyway, <laughs> well, kind of scary, actually. Um, but then he came back and he went through, you know, just um, struggling, of course, having the divorce. That was wrenching. Fighting over the little girl they have. That's fight. That's that's wrenching. But then suddenly God brings up this woman and uh, meets her in church and they became friends and and he's like, I don't know this chick, you know. Lord, I didn't think I was ready. I don't think I'm ready. But the Lord says, You ready? Come on, let's go. And there they were come walking down the aisle. Happy as can be. If I can make this into a slideshow, I'll put some pictures in between. It'd be fun to show it that way. But anyway, it's great talking to you. Um, let's keep it up. Don't let go. No God has got you, and He's not gonna. He's not gonna let anything happen to you. You're perfectly and beautifully, and completely protected. Shalom, peace to you, which means completeness. You're completely whole and okay. No matter what it looks like, you keep claiming it and speak it into your life. In Jesus' name. Love you guys.